Okay, so this is part 182. Line 18A, 3Z, 5B6. NASA Plasma Powered UFO Technology Electromagnetic 5G Well Study. There's the Well Study Alien Signal. March 27, 2012. You can tell that I bumped this. This was at the beginning and it bumped down to the end because that's what happens when I do videos. March 27, 2012. My thoughts. Found this article while working on my elephant pitch for the fictional screenplay I'm writing for the Script Frenzy Challenge. I'm making a mini trailer for it before writing the story. Based on the pitch I made for the novel, which I've completed a full synopsis for and have yet to write. Actually, I'm currently writing the novel right now. In April 2012, I'm section 7 right now. Or chapter 7. Okay. So this illustration here is by Danielle Zawoy. For the University of Florida, depicts what a wingless electromagnetic air vehicle might look as it flies in the atmosphere above Mars. Not pervy. Looks like a bowl with <laughs> laser lights on it. Okay, so NASA jumps at patent for plasma-powered UFO technology. Now, I thought this was really cool. First of all, I'm bringing up patents and inventions for a UFO, right? We're working on a UFO engine. And this is talking about a plasma-powered UFO technology. And we are talking about a plasma-powered engine that can be used with neutrinos and nuclear reactions in order for us to travel very, very far in a short period of time. So this was really exciting when this came up. I thought, oh, this is cool because we're on the right track, right? Because they already have some sort of technology to work with. And if they add these formulas to it, I'm sure that we can get this thing to go very, very fast and very, very far. Super Rata Roy, an aerospace engineer from the University of Florida recently submitted a patent application. So he actually just submitted an application. But I wonder how much she got paid for it. That'd be cool, eh? For an aircraft that just happens to come in the shape of a flying saucer. Dubbed a winged electromagnetic air vehicle, or WEAVE, the battery-powered prototype is designed at less than six inches across. Even so, Roy insists that the mini sci-fi mobile could be built full-scale for missions like atmospheric surveillance and that got NASA and the Air Force interested. Powered by magnetohydrodynamics, a bulky title for the way energy generated as a current passes through a conducting fluid. Weave would be able to lift off vertically and hover a saucer and a helicopter in one embodiment, as Roy puts it. We've seen prototypes of choppers with vertical landing capabilities and even length morphing rotors. But Roy is talking about virtually partless flight. Plasma forming electrodes would serve as a conducting fluid. Now this is extremely important because based on the formulas and the guns and all the patents and stuff that came up, they are all the components that you need to get this thing to work for the full size. And it's got the plasma forming, we got electrodes, we've got conducting fluid, all that stuff came up in the wild study signal. So that's very interesting to me to have that come up and then have this uh, showing that NASA is extremely interested in this type of technology. So this is good. So causing the surrounding air to be pushed around the craft, propelling it through the sky. This sounds like something truly meant for space. And while physics are stacked against a saucer-like vehicle for the atmosphere in the near term, so they're still thinking that because of the way things are, they can't make it. It's like a defeated purpose. You are already thinking you're so defeated you can't do anything, and you're so wrong. If you really put your mind to something, you can figure out how to make something work. You guys got to stop acting like that. You got to start believing in yourself that you can get this stuff to work. If you really, really want it to work, you'll be shown the way. Roy isn't the only innovator with something of an upside-down eye in the sky. With reports on breakthroughs and levitation, on a very small scale, and the possibility of flying mag magic carpets, both servicing within the last year, maybe sci-fi and Hollywood aren't that loosely related after all. Then again, real success in any of these fields of flight would be revolutionary, as it is a small flying saucer might be useful as another in a long line of mini UAVs. This is from Allie Townsend. It says, read more, NASA jumps at Patton. Okay. So that's from www.poplarmechanics.com. Again, there's the eight videos and the tags. 
And that's it for what I've done so far. Um, I'll be doing some more research in the next couple of weeks and then posting some more videos. It's probably going to take me a week or two because I am busy writing a novel for April. Okay? I hope to get it done before the end of April so I can go back into doing the wall steady stuff full time. Thank you for watching.